Dad, hey, what are you doing here? Checking out your new digs. You're no, 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 you can't come in, Dad. I invite I'm you to stay with someone. me at the Can Metro Court, and you turn me down to live here? I explained to you why. Well, it didn't make any sense then. It makes even less now. I really like this place. It's very nice. Really? Why? What does this place have that my place doesn't? <laughs> oh, we're shaking, buddy. Not much help. It doesn't look like anyone's here. The lights are on. Star, are you here? Oh no. Someone's coming. Star? Doesn't look like anyone's here. Still. She wanted me to meet her here, said she wanted me to see where she was rehearsing. I think you've never seen the haunted star before. Does it bother you being back here? Why would it? Well, Ethan spent half his life here. You always knew where to find him. Ethan left. He didn't even bother to send a text to say goodbye. When well, you moved on? You never sure tell Dad. No Dad will be overjoyed. Well, I don't report on you to Dad. I know. I guess it is a little weird being back. Especially since you're telling me Star is going to be singing here. Yeah, she's going to be the headliner for Lulu and Johnny when they open the club back up. Well, if she invited you, the least she could do is show up. Right, like you've never been late for anything. I'm sorry, but I don't trust the girl. I mean, I don't like the way she treats you. You're not worried about me. You just don't like the fact that you're staying with Trey. Oh, and by the way, your so-called secret crush on him is completely obvious. Don't change the subject. I'm worried about you here, okay? You're a warm, kind, trusting person, and Star Manning is a loose cannon. I mean, I, I get it, you know? She suffered through the accident and everything, but it doesn't just Losing give her a free boyfriend pass. boyfriend and little girl, is that... Everything? It's horrible, I get it. But it doesn't give her the right to go after her dad with a gun. You don't need to be involved with someone like that right now. Someone like what? Someone who just lost her family after you lost Abby so soon. Look, this has nothing to do with Abby, okay? And besides, me and Star are just friends. Just friends? Yeah. Please, it is so obviously more than that. Uh, Dad? When I was is, wondering what um, you could get here that you couldn't get at my place, I was thinking maybe like a washer dryer. Yeah, this is um my roommate Trey. Trey, this is my father, Todd Manning. A pleasure, sir. Uh, your daughter's quite spirited. Who is this Joker? Oh, to answer your question, I'm a, a grad student at Yale, uh, but I also happen to produce reality TV. So that's impressive. Yeah, well, you managed to say three things in one sentence that make me not like you. Um, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go take that shower now. So no, you're just... not. I, I told you not even ten minutes yeah, ago that I need to take the shower first. We're good. I'm supposed no, to be I'll, up with Michael Trey. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Michael, Michael Corinthos, who's gonna testify against you and send you to jail, that Michael? Yeah, who also perjured himself in order to drop Sorry, the charges. Sorry, he perjured himself because I blackmailed his father. If we were up to Michael, you would still Dad, be Dad, I appreciate everything that you have done, but you cannot tell me who my friends are or where I'm supposed to live, okay? I don't like your roommate. I'm glad. I don't either. We're just sharing expenses. That's not code for anything, right? Nice. Oh, my gosh. Look. It's not another guy in a towel, is it? No, Taya sent a picture of baby Victor. Gosh, he's so cute. I still can't think of who he looks like. Who do you think? I don't need to see that. Todd Manning? But Why don't you want to see a picture of baby Victor? You are the one that brought him into this world. You've seen one baby. You still feel guilty? Why would I feel guilty, Star? Because you killed his father? Right. Look, Dad, you can't change what you did, but you really came through for that baby, and Tan knows that. Yeah, that's me. I went above and beyond. And that counts for something, right? So look at this precious little boy. I'm really, I really gotta go. I yeah, really I, gotta I get ready. Too. Please. That rundown rag of a paper isn't gonna start making money on its own. Oh, the shower is fantastic. Oh my god, you gotta feel that water pressure. It's ridiculous. Hey, have you seen my my moisturizer? I know the French word for shower. Your roommate is it. So do I. And you're right. Star's cool, right? Your, your buddy Trey, on the other hand. Stop. I know you think he's manipulating us, but I'm every bit as responsible for the Ma Princess concept as he is. Christine, I know how you get when you're mad at him. Like that. I don't have a right to be after he ruined my life? You're not looking any farther than just getting back at him.
You want him to regret whatever it is he did, but most of all, you just want him to pay attention. What better way than to threaten to air his personal business on national television? Dad deserves it. Look, do you think you were humiliated before? Just think of how you're going to feel when Trey makes you look like a spoiled little brat, making this big deal about, oh, um, it's such a tragedy, my father got me into college. Look, you're going to look bad here, not Dad. Trey's going to make sure the series is from my point of view. Look, he's going to do whatever it takes to get the biggest ratings and make the most money. Are you two uh, busy crushing on the guy to realize that he's a weasel? He is a graduate student in mass media studies at Yale University. But who also happens to be setting us all up so he can exploit us. Trey? I'm jumping in the shower. If Michael calls, can you please tell him that I'm running late? Yeah, sure thing. You got okay, it. Okay, my phone's right on the couch. Uh, yeah, we're good. Thank you. I'm just saying, Star has her flaws, too. Trey hasn't actually tried to kill her father yet, so he's ahead a couple of points. Especially since when he makes an appointment, he actually shows up. Okay, well, you don't have to wait around here. It's... I'm not leaving you. But you don't want to be here. It's okay. What are you doing? Calling Star. See if I can find out what happened to her. Voicemail. She must be on her way. Well, why can't she answer her phone while she's driving? I told you, you don't have to be here. I already told you, I'm not leaving. Not that you care, but I missed you. Yeah, I could tell, because you always return my phone calls and my texts. Hello? Personal crisis, remember? Besides, I know if I called, you would have heard something was wrong in my voice. And yeah, I could have sent you a text, but I don't actually like to lie to you any more than I have to. Thanks, I think. Which is why, when I tell you, I honestly think this is a giant waste of time. And I honestly am not ready to leave yet. <sighs> Fine. As long as we're stuck here, I'm gonna have a drink. Let's see what Lulu and Johnny have behind the bar. Look, Christina, Dad would go ballistic if he found out I'd let you raid the bar at the Haunted Star. Good. So would your mom. Even better. You'd be setting a bad example for Molly. You don't have to tell her. You know what was the emails I sent you that you didn't even respond to? It was about how Molly almost got alcohol poisoning when one of her friends talked her into throwing a party. Don't worry, house. I heard all about it. My mom grounded her for like a month. She's still barely allowed to leave the house. Yeah, and how fair would it be for you to turn around and get caught drinking? There's no one here to catch me. You're fine. I won't drink as long as you admit your friend Star is a no-show. It would seem that way. Well, let's go to our apartment. See what's up. Yeah, great idea. Maybe if we're lucky, we're into your dreamy producer tray. Shut up. Let's just go. Did you hear something? No. Well, come on, you're the one who's in a hurry. Oh, hey, princess. Hey. I just got out of the shower. Sorry. I see that. Do oh. you mind if we come in? You brought Big Brother with you. That's that's great. Yeah, we were yeah. supposed to meet Star, but she never showed up. I was wondering if she was still here. Uh, Christina, where's the camera crew? They're supposed to be with you at all times. They went to the floating rib. They deserve a break once hey, in a while. Hey, all the hot water. How sweet. Their outfits match. My ever-considerate roommate decided to jump into the shower in front of me. Mm, better than jumping in with you, right, Michael? Look, I, I th what are you guys doing here? I thought that we were meeting each other at the Haunted Star. Yeah, uh, we were waiting for you there, but you never showed for up. For quite some time, actually. We tried calling you, but you didn't answer, we so we thought we, you might be here. Hold on. Trey! I asked you to pick up my phone while I was in the shower if Michael called to tell him that I was running late. I, I had moisturizer on uh, my hands. I apologize for my roommate, who apparently was too busy with his beauty routine in order to do me a simple favor. Do you still want to go to the Honest Star? Maybe it's escaped you, but Michael and I have lived our whole lives in Port Charles. The owner, Lulu Spencer, is Michael's cousin. We know a lot more about the Haunted Star than you do. I'm sorry, I didn't think... That... Happens a lot to you, huh? She wanted to walk me through the new renovations they have planned, okay? But it's fine, we can do it another day. So, uh, why don't we get some food or something? Sounds great. You two go on, I'll just...
stay here and hang out? Uh, actually, why don't, why don't, why don't we all hang out here? Um, we could order pizza. I'm actually exhausted from rehearsing all day. Pizza is exactly what I would want. Okay, sounds good. Sounds yeah. great. In the meantime, maybe you two can go put on some clothes. I always wondered what kind of person orders pineapple and ham on their pizza, and now I know. Mm. Mm. Don't knock it till you try it. No thanks. I'm telling you, you guys are missing out. Okay, fine. I'll try it. No, no, wait, what? No, what? no. You told me to try it. Yeah, but like a bite, not the, not the whole piece. Too bad. I was gonna you can have mine. I only had like a little nibble. No, thanks. I was going to save that for the very last bite, but then Pizza Hog here decided she would just take the did whole thing. Did you just thing. call me a hog? You had the whole half of the pizza. You had more than I did. back star. Guys, really, easy, ease up. It's, it's a pizza, okay? I was yanking your chain. I'm sorry, but, you know, you're just really easy to make fun of. It's, it's so much fun. Huh? You don't know, you know the best part? Do you? Hmm. You, you don't know? It's so easy. Fun. Ah. Well, okay, So, are you revived enough to get some coffee? Somewhere else? I would love to, but I have to get up early tomorrow and work on my music. I should probably get to bed. Okay. Um, that's fine. We'll do a rain check then. Hey, definitely. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, you go. I think I'll stay for a while. Oh, you, you really think that's a good idea? Why wouldn't it be? Oh, come on. You know, be up early tomorrow. We had a full day shooting Mob Princess all day mañana, so you gotta look good. Came ready first thing in the morning, darling. Oh. Plus, I'm beat. I'm like, I'm so ready to crash, so, you know, I just... Yeah. Um... You can get your beauty rest as soon as you're done cleaning this up. Well, no, this, this isn't mine. I think, I think it's your turn, actually. Turn? We've been living here for a day. We don't have turns. Yeah, well, maybe it's a good time to start a new bread. You're the one that ordered the pizza. You clean it up. No, it's... it's okay, you good night. More, huh? Are you kidding me? You, you... Uh, if you would have picked up my phone, I wouldn't have been here in the first place. This would be your mess to clean up. But it's not. But it is... Okay, you're the one that said, I'm me, I'm considerate. So why don't so you, you use this as an opportunity to redeem yourself? You know, the way they hate each other is really... Annoying? Exactly. Trey, that's a rag. Yeah, what do, you, what do you want me to do with it? Pretend that the table is your face and you're wiping up all of the dirt and oil off of your giant pores. Oh, you notice my pores. No, oh, I want I'm you so to flattered. clean it up. I don't want cockroaches, no matter how homesick you are. 